Okay, so um, in your spiritual advice um, position, we have here the Eight of Wands in the reverse position. The Eight of Wands in the reverse. This is uh, the embodiment of your energy as the suit of wands, uh, fire energy. When it's in the reverse position, this is indicative of, you know, being mulling over and being very deliberate and, and taking a calculated step when it comes to communication, okay? Mainly because in the outcome position, we're veering towards the Ten of Swords, which is too much has been said, too much has been revealed, and it leads to a situation where there has been too many irreconcilable differences between you and another person, too much conflict, um, not letting go, trying to prove a point between you and another person. So err on the side of being methodical and strategic and careful with your communication just so that you don't isolate yourself and the other person and just so that you don't create that damage where the other person emotionally retreats and emotionally stonewall you and emotionally just um, refuses to communicate further, okay? So I believe this was in the upright position. Um, let's go into the rest of the cards. What I have here in your present position, we have here the hermit. The hermit in the reverse basically means it's a situation where somebody knows better, but they're not really behaving in a way where they take the knowledge and the wisdom and the insights to make ju good judgment or to even make life decisions that are um, healthy. In the challenge position, we have here the Six of Pentacles. This is being a little bit more careful and methodical with your money. You are very financially stable. You're building up wealth. You're generating a lot of financial resources. You're able to stockpile a lot of wealth for yourself to take care of you know, the people that mean a lot to you. You are also able to buy and purchase all the things that Strike your fancy, buy new property, buying a new house, buying a new car, buying things that um, can add a lot of status and value to your life. However, with the Six of Pentacles, there, yes, there is a lot of financial resources that are coming into the picture. But with the Six of Pentacles, whatever comes in quickly is going to disappear very, very quickly. So be careful about not spending or overspending or being so frivolous with your spending and your financial resources that you don't stockpile and save up for a rainy day, okay? So I feel like there is a lot of um, um, money just leaving your hands and I feel as if it's, it's coming and it's leaving because you are doing a lot of travel. You are doing a lot of movement in the past position. We even have the world card in the reverse. This is kind of like breaking out of restrictions, traveling, uh, going to see places, going to really, really exp expensive um, places, um, being quite, you know, a little bit extravagant and a little bit flashy, uh, I'm sorry to say. So I feel like this type of emotional spending or this type of um, spending habit is really going to catch up with us if we're not careful. And we might find ourselves um, kind of dipping in the red or dipping into our savings or having to transfer money around in order to repay some things. Okay, so be careful about that. I feel like for many of you, you're feeling very, very generous towards the people around you. And I also feel like be careful about, you know, being uh, fed a sob story, being, um, being used, being used. If there are people that are able to take care of themselves, you want to enable them that opportunity to kind of like learn their lessons and to do things on their own and to be independent. So I feel like it's really not a good time for you to extend your energy, extend your resources right now, mainly because you're at a place of abundance and you need to stabilize yourself, okay? You need to kind of like keep that status quo, keep it going rather than um, letting the, all the, the, the blessings and the financial resources kind of slip through your fingers. In the future position, we have here the Five of Swords and it's in the reverse position, which is a really, really good card. This is overall all about, I see what you're doing. I, I see somebody who's being quite sneaky 
in your midst and doing something that they're not supposed to do. And I feel like, you know, you're seeing all of that. You're anticipating that this is their energy they're bringing to the table. However, you're not going to engage in it. You're not going to say things and do things that um, it's like not stooping to their level. Okay, not stooping to their level, not engaging in conflict and not especially wasting your time um, being sucked into a conflict that doesn't really serve any greater purpose. So I feel like you're taking care of yourself, you're minding your own business, building up wealth, enjoying your time and especially enjoying the, the, the fruits of your labor and enjoying the financial uh, resources at your disposal. And somebody is trying to engage you in some type of a conflict. You've already seen it and you've already moved away from it. Spiritual advice, once again, this is the uh, Eight of Wands. Um, I feel like somebody is planning to take a trip to come see you and they're being... They're waiting for some type of an offer. They're waiting for an invitation. And external to your environment, I have here a water sign. So this is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. This is a picture of somebody who's waiting around, okay? Waiting for an invitation, waiting for communication, waiting for feedback. And I feel like you might want to invest a little bit more time connecting with and, and talking to this person. If you are waiting for them, I feel like there might have been some missed messages, um, it's, it's like they shoot you a message and then you might have changed your phone, you might have been traveling, you might have been all over the place and you have this misconnection with them. And in the meantime, you're wondering, when are they going to reach out to me? I feel like they've already did. Message was not received and as a result of it, they're sitting there waiting for you, waiting for some type of a uh, offer coming through from you or an invitation to either come see them or to have them come see you. Or in, in general, just, you know, off messages when it comes to do we want to get things off the ground are you going to be coming back into the picture when are you going to see me etc in your hopes and fears we have here the knight of wands and this is the typical aries energy someone who is you know out making connections someone who has a very robust social life you really really enjoy everything in your life right now and you're very excited about all the possibilities okay um, coupled with this eight of wands, I feel like there has been a lot of, in the past, there has been like deep periods of a lot of overtime, a lot of work, a lot of responsibilities, and now you want to break free. You might be, uh, approaching some type of a vacation time for yourself where you are planning, uh, to take some big trips where you are planning to, you know, reconnect with people from your past even. And you are planning to just kind of break out of the mold and do things on your own. And I also feel like there's a lot of hopefulness here. It's sort of like being let out of the gate. So if you've been working a lot, this is a good week for you to uh, unwind. But I feel like the way in which a fire sign unwinds, it's not just, you know, sitting at home, um, watching TV. It's more like I want to get out there and do things that I enjoy, do things that stir my passion. So I'm feeling like sporting events. I'm seeing like going to the gym, getting yourself in shape. I'm also seeing a lot of uh, wanting to go to a, an area where there are uh, scenic water, um, scenic, well, nice scenery, um, being outdoors, but also um, having opportunities to do like enjoy water sports or, you know, enjoy the last um, um, the, the last of the warm weather before things get really cold and dreary because we are approaching, you know, the um, autumn time frame. OK, so I feel like you're excitedly trying to get out there and, and make the most of your time. Some of you are, you know, thinking about uh, vacation or taking some time off because you've been working very, very, very hard. OK. Um, in the outcome position, once again, we have here the Ten of Swords. So be, being very, very careful about not engaging in conflict and not, you know, revealing too much about how you feel about the other person because a lot of the times they're very, very sensitive and they can be easily hurt. And we have as well the Six of Swords. Going back to a situation, this is like sailing away in the reverse. It's going back to a situation to resolve some type of a dispute or some type of misunderstanding or some type of a conflict that 
we weren't proud of how things ended. We weren't proud of how we behaved in that situation, or we feel like the other person might have misunderstand, uh, mis misunderstood our intentions, what we meant, and the words came out wrong. So I feel like there's a lot of redoing. There's a lot of opportunities here for saying that apology, for making amends, for, for righting some wrongs. And it's going to happen through a little bit more of a control and purposeful type of communication. I feel like somebody, I, I'm sensing somebody is waiting on you, waiting for you. You might have um, said on a whim, you know, oh, I'd like to see that. Let, let me just see you next month. And then you might have forgotten about it, Aries. So I feel like they're waiting on you. So if this is something that you um, made on a whim and you don't feel like you want to follow through with it, communicate with that person so that they, you know, make plans with, so that they can make contingency plans rather than just waiting and then have their uh, hopes up and then, you know, you dash their hopes, okay? So I feel like you need to kind of get back in there and, and uh, try to fix some things. We have as well the seven of pentacles. Now sevens are a very, very spiritual card. We are going as the six of pentacles in the challenge position up until the seven in the reverse position. So this is like waiting for the harvest, okay? You've worked really, really tirelessly and very, very hard just to get everything lined up, just to prepare yourself for the winter months. If this were, you know, in the old times, this is sort of like the farmer that is obsessively monitoring his crop. He is measuring the yield. He's also measuring, will my family um, be able to survive for the winter months, you know, with what I produce? When it's in the reverse position, it's sort of like putting in a lot of hours at work. And then at the end of the day, you're looking at your bank account. And you're like, whoa, it doesn't really reflect what um, the amount of hours that I calculated for myself and how much I should be compensated. So there's something here about, you know, going easy when it comes to your your spending. And then I also feel like needing to um, re redo, needing to revisit the, the time schedule or like even pay stubs and make sure that the amount of hours that you put in is correctly reflected on your... Um, I don't know, what whatever you method of payment that the company, the organization, wherever you work, however they render your payment, I feel like there's some discrepancies here that you need to kind of look at. You need to have them fixed, okay? And then I also feel like for some of you who are contractors and you're working on a contract basis, I feel there's an element here about having to visit financial institutions in order to get a loan so that you can finance a business or a business project. And then the amount that's coming in is a lot less than the amount that was promised. And they're going to explain to you clearly there are some stipulations about, you know, why the amount is reduced. So even for students, student loans, uh, student financial aid, as well as, you know, people who are working, make sure that you look at your pay stubs. Uh, carefully and make sure that the information is reflected um, correctly. Okay, I'm going to pull out a few cards here to clarify the Ten of Swords. What's going on here? Okay, so we have all um, reverse cards. This is a situation where it's telling us the Seven of uh, Wands willingly fighting a battle okay so like choosing to fight the battle choosing to fight the good fight and uh, you don't care you you guys are very very courageous you don't care who's opposing you you don't care you don't need to please another person when it's in the reverse position it's almost like picking your battles it's almost like don't engage in a conflictual situation if it doesn't really serve any higher purpose, if it serves to isolate you and another person. So this is like the end to a conflict. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that, and I feel like it's work-related here, with the Four of Pentacles, uh, somebody is letting that down their emotional walls. Somebody is revealing to you exactly what it is and how the conflict has really hurt them, or they're kind of um, seeing 
seeing things from a higher perspective and they're not wanting to engage in it anymore. We have as well the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position. This is a situation we've invested a lot of time in. It's similar to the Eight of Cups, but we have given a lot of our resources. We have given a lot of money. We have given a lot of time. We have given a lot of things that we consider to be precious to another person. When it's in the reverse position, it's almost like this is pretty much the end of the road and you, you cannot invest any more time and resources in it because the other person might not be on board or because you feel like this is a lost cause and I'm going to, you know, cut my losses. Going to pull out a few cards to clarify here the Queen of Cups. You have somebody that is very, very much um, that cares about you, that is very, very much in love with you here. And um, I'm almost sensing that you, you have to communicate with this person. There has been distance or a, a big emotional rift between you and this person. Okay, so water sign, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And I feel like they're waiting around for you. They're, they're ruminating. They're thinking about, you know, what ifs. There, there definitely is an emotional rift or some type of a separation between you and this person. And the fact that they're still patiently waiting, the fact that they're still nursing a broken heart basically means they still have a lot of feelings for you. So I feel like it's important for you to kind of not take this situation for granted. Look at it in a lens of seriousness and try to make some amends, okay? And then communicating. You might need to be the one to reach out first and communicate. Once again, this is uh, fire energy indicating to me that they're waiting around for you, okay? I hope the reading has been helpful for you, um, Aries. Take care of yourself and I'll talk to you soon.